Looks like we're all bikes now. XV1900, huh? Primary damage is a burn. And the retail value is only nine grand. Y'all are already overpaying, man. Hell no. Y'all already overpaying, man. Look at this right here, man. Come on, man. Y'all bugging, man. Y'all are bugging with this one right here, man. Look at this, man. They overpaying, man. It's burnt. It's been on fire. Y'all are tripping. Tripping. Shout out to the uh, bike squad. This is just going to let you guys know what some of these bikes go for at auction, you know, during the, the bike walk arounds. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. 2100 pure sale man look at that a bobcat oh y'all 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 bringing up all kinds of weird stuff now <laughs> ladies and gentlemen kids of all ages sunday 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 no i'm just kidding welcome on back to tk's garage and today by popular demand because you guys have asked we are back and looking at bikes so let's go ahead and look and see this one looks like it's new this one it wasn't here before this is a 2011 harley flhx i have no idea what that is i have no idea what that is but it looks like unfortunately somebody hit something pretty hard on the front of this one that don't look good mm, I hope they made it the only thing that I hate looking at bikes for is because I always feel bad I feel bad looking at bikes because I know somebody more than likely ate it or something bad this one's got a nice sound system built onto it what's this one a 2002 Harley flare side man this one took one up the front as well. We got this one as a pinched in um, front fender. What is this? It is a 2011, another Harley Davidson. I wonder if any of these actually have any, no. Oh, they're unlocked. I wonder if they have any power. Nope. Okay. Sometimes they leave them on and that's kind of sucky because then you can't, you really don't get an opportunity to see if they run, you know what I'm saying? You don't get a chance to see if you're able to actually fire these things up. Here's a Yamaha, what is this? This one's got keys. No sticker, it does have a lot number, I'll have to look it up. No power. See, that's the one problem about looking at bikes, guys. I can't push start these right so i can't push start them i can't really uh you know it's hard for me to give you guys a full walk around a full you know look at these bikes when none of them will fire up or turn on all right let's look at this gsxr over here what is this this is 600 we'll crack in the fairing right here everything else on it looks good it's missing a seat But it's clean. No power. Damn. I'll ask. I already know that the answer is going to be no. They don't allow jumps here, guys. But I'll see if maybe they'll let me have like a small thing that I can plug in or something. Just for bikes. Because I know for the for the dedicated fans that really are out here that want to see these bikes. I You know, I want to show you. I want to really get in-depth on these bikes for you. But it's like... You know, it's almost like getting in the car that smells like raw badussy. You know, you get into it for a second, you're like, but, and then you just want to want to keep it moving. Wow, this one is all kinds of duct taped up, wired out. What's up with this, with this shadow? 
It's a 99 Honda Shadow. Well, those things seen better days. Whew. Man. This thing has seen better days. Okay. Now this one over here. This one has a dent in the tank. And it still has the for sale sticker on it. Huh. This is a Road King. 2009. Really clean. I think we've seen this before, but this one looks like it's been cleaned up. Let's see if we have any power. Let's see if it has any power. And that would be over here, right? Not a, not a thing, huh? Damn it, man. Still real pretty, though. Don't you guys think? Look how pretty that is. That Road King is beautiful, man. That is a thing of beauty right there. Wow. And then there's another Road King right here. Without the bags on the back. Look at the pipes. They're nice and straight. Looks really beautiful. Where's the damage, you may ask? Looks like it's right here up front on the fender. It's got the Harley Davidson 105 year anniversary badge for 2002. See that? And this is a 2008 Harley Davidson. And this is a Road King, right? According to that. I'm not a Harley guy, guys. I couldn't tell you. I got to read the tags. I don't know nothing about Harleys, dude. Sorry, but this one's in really good shape. This one's pretty, man. Look at that badge. Look at that. This thing is really pretty, man. All right, let's see if she has any power. Anybody want to take a guess? Nope. And I think they do it on purpose. Like, people leave it in the run position to kill the batteries so nobody else has an opportunity to see if they run. That's a dick move, man. That's a real dick move. I can't wait, man. I'm telling you, I can't wait. You know, when they start start just getting people up out of here with that, they start catching people on camera doing that and just getting their ass up out of here. They won't get to bid no more. They're not going to get to look at any vehicles. Oh, wow, look at that. That, uh, that rotor's warped. What is this? This is a 2020 black what? What is it? It's a Harley Davidson, according to this. But the listing has it listed as other. It says collision, but this is a brand new bike. Tell me you got power. Damn, man. This one here is brand... This is a brand new bike, man. Brand new bike. All right, I, I'm not really a Harley dude, but... Even I got to add this to my watch list while you bullshitting. I'm sorry. Like, there's no way that I couldn't add this to my watch list because, yeah, let me add that to my watch list because, hell no, man. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. YouTube life proof. This is a YouTuber's bike. Uh-oh. Which YouTuber had this bike? You got a GoPro. You got a GoPro logo on it. It's here from Geico. Somebody laid it down. You can see all the way down that side on that fairing. This thing is all just tore up. Man. YZFR3. YouTuber's bike, huh? Oh, snap. Looks like it's got power, guys. Damn, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this with y'all. I can try. Hold on one second. I'm going to have to sit y'all on the seat, which I know y'all are not going to like, but I want to see if it starts. We know it runs. This bike definitely runs. That's probably the first bike ever that we've ever been able to fire up out here. 8,846 miles on the clock. It is listed as a collision, but I don't see, I mean, again, you'd have to have somebody look at the forks, but I think it's clean outside of the fact that it was laid down. I bet you this bike is, is fine. I bet you you could drive this bike home. I'm willing to bet. Let me turn it off. I don't want to kill it. The fact that it fired right up was sweet. 
you know everything else looks good is this uh bent or yeah that's bent yeah you're gonna have a hard time you could bend that back out though i think you could probably grab some some uh vice grips or whatever and bend that back out so you can shift but that looks kind of bad but overall it's not too bad i think it'll be all right i think this could this could uh i gotta add this to my watch list hold on damn man yeah <laughs> i'm not even really out here for the bikes like that i do the bikes for y'all but you know when you see stuff like this you know you're almost you, you almost have to add it to the watch list because it's a, it's a good deal, you know? 31502. Alright, and pure sale current bid is 775 bucks. I'm going to add it to my watch list. It's only at $775 right now. Look at this, man. A running and driving, you know, crotch rocket. 775 bucks. Now, is it going to go for more in the auction? Of course, but I bet you this bike goes for it's an R3, right? I bet you it goes for like 1200 bucks, Maybe. 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 That's a big maybe. Another Harley Davis is sitting over here. That one's been sitting for a long time, though. Uh, what's up with this one? It's just missing the forks and everything. This is a Yamaha XV 1900, huh? Jesus. It's missing the whole front tire. I don't know what happened to this. Did somebody knock the KTM over? Sometimes that's the other thing with these bikes, man. They'll get knocked over, you know. GSX R 1000. The Jigs are 1000 with no power, right? Yeah. Of course not. Damn. Well, there's a Honda Magna. What else we got here? This one looks pretty nice. What is it? It is a 2020 FX LRS in black. See, I don't know my Harleys, dude. I don't know what the hell that means. You can see the front got smashed right here, but that's nothing too crazy. You'd be surprised the deals you can get on a Harley Davidson out here if you're willing to do a little bit of work. If you're willing to do just a little bit of work to the bike. Any power? Of course not. Nope. Alright. Let's see if there's anything new. I think we've seen a lot of the stuff over here, guys. And as much as I want to have a nice long bike video for you guys, we just might not have enough. Uh, look at this Honda Valkyrie. This thing's smashed. Oof. This BMW bike is sad. Fire, you know, caught on fire. So sad. So sad. Hmm. Harley Davidson. What is this? Ouch. Someone might have laid it down on this side. Yeah. You can see see the grips all burned up. So the bike laid on this side. You can see the road rash there, 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 down the side. A couple nicks here on the tank. Nothing too major though. You know, nothing too ridiculous. Let's see if she's got power. Probably not, but I'll, I'll be your huckleberry. No volts. I like the uh, way this is laid out, though. See, I could do a big bike like this, right? I could I could do a big bike like this, but I couldn't do a... I don't know, man. If I did a Harley, I'd have to go... I got to go all the way, you know what I'm saying? I got to go balls to the wall. I got to go big boy. I can't go small bike, you know? This is Street Glide. What kind of bike is this? It is a 2014 Harley Street Glide. All right. I can see the uh, bags are broken that were on the side but you know what this bike probably could be restored for not a lot of money man this bike could probably be restored for not a lot of money man 
put it back on the road. You know? Mmm. All right. Let's see if we got anything else over here, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Got another Harley Davidson. Does it have power? No, because somebody left it on. Dick moves, man. Like, I think I think somebody's just literally coming out here and turning all the Harleys on. Yeah, they are. It's like they're coming out here and leaving all the Harleys on on purpose so that people can't check them out. You know? And it's somebody that's probably doing nothing but bidding on these bikes. I have no doubt. I have no doubt that's exactly what it is, you know? This one's off. Do we have power? Nothing. Huh. Look at that Indian, dude. Say it with me. Toasty! <laughs> That's foul. Alright. We got a cowie. We got a cowie. 2018 ZR900, huh? Dead as a doornail. Yep, dead as a doornail. Oh well. That one doesn't look bad though. Doesn't look horrible, you know? Cool little Street Fighter. Definitely got laid down, you can see it right here. Road rash, road rash. Same thing on the shifter, yeah? Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And it looks like, to wrap up our two-wheel bikes, we have a Harley Davidson Road King over here. Now, I believe I've seen this bike before. This one is off, though. Do they, do they, do they have it charged? Nope, no power. Oh, well. Well, guys... There is that. Now let's take a look at some of this other cool stuff over here. I see this big, ridiculous looking Polaris. And it's like, play with me, play with me. I want to see what the deal is with this. Look, it's got snorkels. Look at the snorkels up here. They take this thing underwater. Claim, unknown, loss is unknown. Okay. Look at these, man. Look at these mud tires on this damn thing, man. This thing is made for fun. Now it does say right on it. Do not start. So we're going to follow those rules and not start it. So I'm guessing that there's probably water and or mud or something like that in the engine. And that's why it's here. That is why it's here. Same thing probably for this John Deere. That's also here. That was an 18 Polaris. This is an 18 uh, John Deere Gator. So, huh, interesting. I know it's not your normal bike guy, but it is what it is. And then we have these, uh, I guess what's left of a Can-Am over here. Man, look at that thing. Got your clip-on speakers and stuff. What year is this? It's a 19, huh? No power though. Oh, she's got power. She turns on. All right, well, let's see. Read the safety card before operating. Well, no shit. Um, where's the brakes? Well, that wasn't good. Nothing. I got a not a safety card. It says I don't see any safety card. Oh well. I don't know nothing about Can Am, guys. I don't. I hear it turning over or but it won't start. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm not a can like I said, I'm not a Can Am guy. I don't know Can Am's like that. 
I don't know what that is, but okay. Oh, that's the key? Key thingy? Okay. So that's the key. Alright, that's different. I don't know what's up with this. Oh well. I just wanted to give you guys a good look at it. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's Copart bike walk around. I know it wasn't super long, but we got to get in some cool looking bikes and I got to show you guys a couple of cool different things. Like I said, Copart is not just a bunch of cars. They have a ton of motorcycles here as well. And that's in pretty much every yard that I've been to. So if you're looking for a good deal on a bike, definitely go check it out. Um, you're not going to find things that are just perfect sometimes, but you know, a lot of them are going to need work, but they're not bad. But anyways, there you have it. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, there's a specific type of bike or a specific type of, uh, uh, you know, trike, Can-Am or something you want me to look for as I go through all these different yards. And I'll add it to my saved list. Oh, well, till next time. Okay, guys, that concludes that Copart walk around. Now I have to get back. Man, what a day, man. Getting that long walk around video in with you guys with the live stream, getting that next day's video, and then getting you guys the bike, motorcycle video. A lot of work today, man. A lot of work. Did I forget my damn water in the back? I did. Let me hold this L. Hold on one second, guys. I got me a bottle of water back there because I am, like, parched. Yeah, there it is, too. I just heard it fall. Oh. All right, there we go. Yeah! Oh, man. Well, guys, maybe it will be better when I go down um, to the other yard looking at bikes. It looks like they have a lot more selection, and I know I've walked by, and you guys are like, ooh, ooh, that one, that one. So maybe this week I'll go down there, and I'll check out nothing but bikes, and I'll try to queue up a couple of those for you guys here on the channel because I know you guys ask for them uh, all the time. The only funny thing is, for you guys that are watching this bike video now, is... I don't really, there's not a lot of, a lot of people don't watch the bike videos. I don't understand it, but you know, y'all ask, there's enough of y'all asking for it. So I'll do it. You know, y'all could help. Y'all could help me continue to do the bike videos. Really simple. Share these joints on Facebook, Twitter. I don't even think Google plus is still a thing, but you know, share these things wherever you can. And if you do share them and enough people keep watching them, I'll do more bike videos, not just one a month or you know, one every other week. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and do that. Anyways, until next time, guys, now the video's over. Now we're going to get out of here. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace!